Hi everyone! Today we are doing an unboxing and setup. That is right. On this little fella here, this is the Scarlet Solo from Focusrite. See you on the inside! Okay, so here we are. We have the Scarlet Solo second generation. It includes the software for Ableton Live Lite, Pro Tools, first Focusrite Creative Pack. Loving this. Had to replace my uh, Steinberg after having to replace my first 2i2. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you exactly uh, what is in the box, how easy it is to set up and get going. So here we are, let's get to this. Hasn't been opened yet, as you can see. Here we are. Lovely little thing. Has a setup here for your microphone, your guitar, your headphones, um, your USB on the back. You'll see everything on the inside. So let's open her up. Can't wait. Ah! Oh, brand new. Mmm, smell that new cart. No, not a new cart. Smell that new focus right. Love it. All right, pull her on out here. Look at that. Well, it's well taped, that's for sure. I think some of my family wrapped this for Christmas. My goodness. Way to go. It is well in there. This is well packed, so you're not going to get any shaking and rattling in the, in the transport. Lovely. Look at that. Oh, I love the new. It's so much sleeker and newer. It is so small. I mean, look, really, look at that. It fits in both my hands. It is that tiny. What else do we have here? We have the instructions, of course. They're important safety instructions. Always read those. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, what's next? And of course, this little guy. You'll need the little cord to set her up. This is so quick and simple, you will not believe it. Focus Right has amazing products. I love their Scarlet series. Um, on the on here, it'll tell you as well. Get started with Scarlet Solo for Mac, for Windows. Uh -huh. They left us. They left out us Linux users. However, no fear. I am told by the Linux forum that uh, the second gens of the Focus Rights are uh, better able to uh, to be used with Linux because they're um, ALDSA. Compliant, which is absolutely wonderful. So we'll just put this up. We're getting rid of this little fella because we don't really need the box. There it is. That is all that you need. How simple is that? Well, other than your microphone. All right. So there we are. Quick and easy. Watch this. Couldn't be simpler. We have on the back here. This is your USB. These, of course, are your line outputs if you're going to use the uh, the red and white uh, RCA cables. And this is the little guy. We just take this little red. Everything is red. I love it. Even my shirt is red for the occasion today. Love this. And this little guy, the little one that looks like a house, goes in the back. Pop that fella. Ooh, it's quite snug too. This one's actually in better than my other one. It gives a little snap when you put it in. I believe you heard that. And then we just take this and I'm putting it into my extender of course. Take the USB into the USB. Now let's see if my computer will pick this up. Hang on one second before we do that. Okay. We take take your XLR cable of course into your microphone output, oh, sorry, input, yeah, your output, yeah, okay, let's do this, put the USB into here, there we go, it's that simple, and of course, for all of you audio guys out there, and techs who like to keep things nice and clean and neat, here we are, look, we're putting this cord back on. You really shouldn't have any cords. Don't do it too tight though. You don't want to uh, 
bracket, but there we go. Just nice and simple, and look, look how easily that sits on the corner of my desk. Right there, that's it. You'll see the green light is on here as well. Now, uh, this is just your, for your monitoring. You can direct monitor, so you can turn that on if you like. I like to do that, not everybody does. You will need to put on your 48 band power to, of course, power your microphone. And you'll have to adjust the gain. Now, if the gain is the same for me, it should be the same as before. And there we go. You also have um, a plug-in here for your guitar if you're putting your instrument into here, or the secondary one. So there we go. That is it. That is all there is to setting up your mic. Now, if you want to see, watch your indicator lights. This is where we plugged into the microphone. I'll bring the microphone on over. Testing, testing. See, see how it's lighting up? That is my voice going through it. So when it's in the green, that's what you want to see. See that that, that uh, mic is picking that up. And that's it, that's all. Other than configuring it into your system, then you're good to go. There we are. Quick and easy unboxing and setup. Focusrite has everything that you need. About, what, not even five minutes to set this up? Awesome. Absolutely amazing. This is why Focusrite is my go-to. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you liked the video. Thumbs up if you do. Have any questions, comments, put them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now get on out there and make that voiceover magic happen.